So, ImageLine finally released FL Studio 21.2. Well, it's about time. <laughs> They've worked really hard for the past months, and I gotta say, FL Studio got so much better. So, get ready, because you're about to learn everything about it. Starting with FL Cloud. You can use it to distribute your music to Spotify and other platforms. But more about that later. First, we're gonna take a look at the final version of FL Cloud Sounds. And this is a feature where you can download samples, loops, and packs for your projects. There's no need to leave FL anymore, and you don't need to worry about copyright issues. Now, you can get access to a selection of the sounds for free. Which is awesome. But if you want access to the full library, you're gonna need a subscription of $50 on your first year, which is nothing compared to other libraries. Now, if you don't wanna subscribe, you can also buy credits. You can use them on the entire library and they'll never expire. That is awesome. Now, let's take a look at FL Cloud distribution. So yeah, distributing your songs to Spotify and Apple Music has never been easier. All you need to do is go to the tools menu on top and choose distribution. Now your browser will open up and here you can create and link your distribution account for free. Normally, this ticket will cost you money, but it's included in your FL Cloud subscription. So yeah, awesome. Oh, and real quick, I have a free download for you guys. My friend at Mixelite sent me this sheet that contains years of music production experience, all of that on one page. From powerful chord progressions to amazing scales and a frequency sheet sheet that will help you create amazing music. Now, besides that, you can also get a free trial to the Mixelite membership so you can learn music production from the pros. I'll leave a link for you down below. Now let's move on to the FL Cloud Mastery tool. When you're done with your project, go to the file menu on top and then choose export. In this menu, look for the master feature. Once it's open, give your track a name, something like this. Then on the bottom, you will find the mastering tool. You can choose to set the LUFS yourself, but if you click the drop down menu on the right, you can choose your desired platform. For example, Spotify. FL Studio will then automatically use the correct LUFS settings for your track. Now this is where the tool gets really powerful. You can use it to tell FL the genre you're making. FL Cloud will then use the best possible settings to master your track. Now you can always create a second reference track and let it find out the genre itself. When you're done, click on start. Now let FL Studio do its thing and when it's done, you can compare the original unmastered track with the two reference tracks you selected. Now just choose your favorite one and that's it. Next up, stem separation. With this tool, you can separate the voice, melody, drums and bass from a song. I've tried a lot of tools in the past, but this one, smokes them all. If you want to make a beat for a specific artist, you can now drag in a song and isolate the artist's voice. You can then use that voice to build an instrumental around it. I mean, need I say more? I mean, what more can I say? You know the play. Uh, ah. Guys, this is incredible. The next feature they added is called Colorful Waveforms. This feature allows you to see the frequency range on a track in the playlist. By default, the low frequencies or basses are red, and the lighter it goes, the higher the frequencies. Now, to enable this feature, go to the option menu on top and choose general settings. Then in this window, simply enable colorful waveforms. Oh, and you can also change the colors to your personal liking in the team settings. That is amazing. Now, beside these awesome features, they also have a brand new plugin called Kepler based on the Juno 6 synth. This one can be used to create incredible sounds and melodies for your productions. Definitely use your new sheet sheet when trying this plugin. Next, I want to show you some music production tips with these new features. And you can do that by clicking the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.